welcome back to the class uh, so today we will do the 10 suffixes the 10 suffixes so <clears throat> the 10 suffixes are the 10 suffixes are the 10 suffixes are ga na da na ba ma a ra la Ra, la, sa. Chip ni sum si ma tuk dun ge gu chu. The ten suffixes. <clears throat> the ten suffixes. So suffixes. <coughs> uh, a suffix. A suffix follows a consonant let's say this is consonant and suffix follows consonant <coughs> consonant kaka ganga we have 30 consonants consonant followed by suffix so suffixes after consonant, there can be ga, na, da, na, ba, ma, a, ra, la, sa. <clears throat> Any from these 10 letters. So, <clears throat> and then in between the consonant and the suffix, you won't see the dot. You won't see that there shouldn't be dot. So consonant and the suffix are to be pronounced together. If there is a dot, it indicates that the uh, the letter in front of dot and the letter after the dot are to be pronounced separately. Okay, so <clears throat> so um, today we will uh, do ga, just ga. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, here uh, it looks a bit complicated, right? But uh, if you remember the rules uh, <coughs> I introduced you earlier, it shouldn't be difficult. So we we like uh, we uh, start from the superscribe sa katak sa katak. Ka, no change in the pronunciation. Sa, katak, ka. Ka, ratak, ka, ratak. From ka to ta. From ka to ta. If you join ratak to ka, it changes to ta. From ka to ta. Ka, ta, ka, ta. Sa, kata, ka. Karatata ga. So we know. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. 
So we know that there is no dart in between uh, Sakatakarata and Ga. So we should remember that all these are to be pronounced together. Sakataka. From ka it changes to ta because of ratak. Sakataka ka ratak ta. Ta. Ta ga because there is not no dot in between these two. So you have to pronounce them together. Sakataka ka ratak ta ga tak. And if you have some idea how to read Tibetan, then you try to learn some words. So, Sakataka uh, Kaltataka Tak is to be afraid of, verb to be afraid. Sakataka Kaltataka Tak. Ka ratak, if ka ratak is ta, then what should ka ratak be? Ka ratak ta, ka ratak ta ga tak, ka ratak ta ga tak. So there is not no dot in between ta and ga. So you have to pronounce all of this together. Ka ratak ta ga. Tuck. This one is tuck. A spirit. Tuck. 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 Means blood. B L O O D. Blood. Tuck. Tuck. <clears throat> Mm. <clears throat> so here we have vowels narrow. We have vowel narrow, so and there's no subjoint here, so ga narrow, ga narrow. So we start from the consonant and go to the vowel, followed by suffix. Ga narrow go. We know narrow works as in English vowel o. So ga narrow go ga gok. Ga naru go ga gok. Ga naru go ga gok. Nga with no dot in between nga and ga. So nga ga ngak. Nga ga ngak. Nga ga ngak. Nga ga ngak. Ngak means speech. Ngak. <coughs> in text, uh, you will see lu nak yi sum lu nak yi sum lu nak nak speech na da nak so um, <clears throat> if you have uh, studied how to read tibetan earlier 
you try to add, uh, learn some word. Uh, so, ngak ngak is speech. Lu ngak yi. Lu ngak yi. Lu is body. Ngak speech. Yi mind or heart. Lu ngak yi. Body, speech, and mind. So, if someone says, Lu ngak yi sum ne tu So, lu is body. Body means someone is expressing thank you physically. Lu. And then verbally, ngak. And then yi from the heart. So, lu ngak yi sum ne tu Means, I sincerely thank you. So, lu, physically you are saying it. Nak, verbally you are saying it. Ye, you have it in your heart uh, the wish to thank someone. So, lu, nak, ye. In case you, if you speak Nepali or Hindi, Lu ngak yi tan man bachan tan man bachan lu ngak yi tan man bachan naga ngak kaka ga nga chaja <laughs> so here we have superscript sa on top of a consonant nya, we know nya is in the fourth column, and if a superscript is added on a consonant in fourth column, the tone should be raised, right? So sa nyata nya, sa nyata nya, kiku ni ga nik. Sa nyata nya nya kiku ni ga nik. Sa nyata sa nyata nya nya kiku ni ga nik. Cha 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 nya. <clears throat> so we see a dot here and another dot here. That means you have to pr uh, pronounce all these together and all these separately. So, ra ta 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 ga tak. Ra ta 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 ga tak. Ra ta 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 ga tak dot. Ra ta 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 ga tak pa ra. Par, takpar, takpar, ra ta 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 ga tak pa ra par, takpar, takpar meaning always. I always work. It always rains. Takpar, ra ta 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 ga tak pa ra par, takpar. So, this is a word with two syllables. Tak, par. Takpar. Takpar. 
दारतक 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 ड ट ठ ड दारत डा गा डक डक इज टू टू रिकवर वर्ब टू रिकवर दारत डा गा डक so we see a dot here but no dot between na and ga so we know that na and ga are to be pronounced together and panarupo separately so how do we read it na ga nak pa narupo napo na ga nak dot pa narupo dot napo black na ga nak pa narupo napo and in tibetan most of the adjective word, uh, words have panarupo adjective words are followed by pa narupo so na ga na pa narupo napo black so color is considered as an uh, adjective an adjective so na ga na pa na ru po na po na ga na pa na ru po na po most of the adjective verbs in tibetan are followed by pa na ru po so again na ga na pa na ru po is black so in tibetan colors are considered as adjective na pota ta da na na pota ta da na pa ah Phaiyata, 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 cha, cha, shabju, chu, chu, ga, chuk, dot, pa, narupo, chupo, phaiyata, cha. Again, we are seeing this Panarupo. Uh, so we know that this word is an adjective word. So Chupo is rich. Opposite of poor, chupo pa yata cha cha sabju chu ga chu panarupo chupo pa yata cha cha sabju chu ga chu panarupo chupo. Ah, pa pa pa.
गालतक 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 ला ला नारो लो गा लोक गा लतक ला गा लतक ला ला नारो लो गा लोक लोक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लोक गा लता ला नारो लो गा लोक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी गा लतक ला ला नारो लो गा लोक Ra-la-tak, ra-la-tak, do you remember the rule? Ra-la-tak, if there is subjoint la, the consonant will not be audible. But la, the sound of the la will be raised. Ra-la-tak la, ga-la-tak la, ra-la-ta la, ga Lak, ra, lata, la, ga, lak. Lak, verb to lose something. I lost my wallet. To lose. Ra, lata, la, ka, lata. So what we are doing today is we are adding suffix ga and rest you studied earlier. There's nothing new apart from the suffix ga. So sa latak, do you remember? Sa latak, sa latak, this is one of the exception. Sa latak da, sa latak da. Sa la ta da da na ru do no dot. Sa la ta da da na ru do ga dok. Sa la ta da da na ru do ga dok. Sa la ta da da na ru do ga dok. Dok is verb to avert, avert obstacles, avert. Sa la ta da da na ru do ga dok to avert. Do you remember the rule uh, with the <clears throat> uh, Consonant with subject ratak. Sa ratak. Sa ratak. Do you remember? Sa ratak. What should sa ratak be? Sa ratak. Sa ratak. Sa. No change in pronunciation. Sa ratak. Sa. Sa naruso ga sok. Sa ratak. Sa. Sa naru so ga sok. Sok. Life force. Not life span. Not life span, but life force. Sa rata sa. Sa naru so ga sok. Life force. What else? Hmm. Hmm. 
Balatak la. Galatak la, ra la, tak la. This one is exception. Sa la, tak da. Balatak la, la, shachulu ga luk. Balatak la, la, shachulu, no dot in between lu and ga. So pronounce them together. Balatak la, la, shachulu ga luk. Look is to put in or to add sugar to uh, tea, to add salt, basically to put in, look. Yes, so <clears throat> uh, vertically we are done. Now we are, we started doing horizontally. We have a consonant followed by a suffix and so horizontally there can be four letters in between two dots horizontally there can be four letters one two three four between two dots so now right now we are doing uh, uh, consonant, uh, any consonant, but for example, consonant ga suffix. So we are here, and <clears throat> in the coming days, we have to come to prefix and postsuffix. Postsuffix is pretty easy, and after we are done with this, you can. Read any text, any text. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the class and uh, please uh, like it, share it, subscribe it. Uh, if the class is helpful to you and yeah um, if you feedback like feedback in your comment box it will help me improve my class and uh, which will benefit all the students so thank you very much see you later have a good day